what we have here is a very inexpensive propane furnace that you can make with parts from your local hardware store. This is a gas forge. It's a Venturi forge, meaning the gas pressure from the tank and the regulator emits from an orifice that's screwed to the bottom of the pipe here and the gas pressure draws the air through the bell reducer and the fire comes through the fire brick below. So I have a clamping system here on mine that holds the brick together, but you could use angle iron laid across the fire brick to make a lid, a top. The forge is just sitting on an old wood stove here in the back of the shop. You could lay it out on a steel table or on a stand that's fireproof because this brick gets 2300 degrees temperature. All the parts are readily available and easily assembled. So for less than $60 you can build a forge that you can use in your garage or your front yard and not disturb the neighbors. Outside, we'll have the parts laid out so you can see each of the individual parts of the furnace. And with only a little bit of help from your local welder to tack weld this pipe onto the bell reducer, we can prepare a furnace ourselves in a weekend. This is also a very clean method of doing forge work. You don't have to use coal, charcoal, or any product that will involve the environment or your well-being and health. You won't be absorbing silica and sulfur from coal or the dust from the charcoal, which you'd have to use a blower to get hot enough that this one here will run directly off a propane furnace like your gas grill. What we have here are the parts of our propane furnace. Some basic fire brick with angle iron to support the roof of the furnace. I would be cutting a hole in the brick with a masonry saw so this pipe can be set down through the brick. On top of the blowpipe is a bell reducer an inch and a quarter to three quarter inch bell reducer. And what we'll we be doing is grinding a hollow in it so that the pipe that has the orifice, which is the gas release, can be tack welded onto the bell reducer and draw air in as the gas pressure push it, pushes into the furnace. So we have here a 24 inch piece of black gas pipe with a cap on one end, a coupling, a reducer to a shut off valve, which then goes to an adjustable propane regulator. We're going to be using approximately 12 pounds of gas pressure. A standard gas grill is only five to eight pounds. So we need an adjustable uh, regulator which can be bought at your local propane dealer. That's the most expensive part of the whole forge. The rest uh, under $20. So once we've cut a hole here we can pinch the pipe to a place where it is just protruding below the bottom of the brick. So by either welding a plate onto it or clamping it just with a C-clamp through the brick, the pipe is welded onto it, you light it with a piece of paper, and when the brick gets hot enough, you're ready to go. Very simple forge. Everything's readily available in any hardware store. The only special tools you'll need to assemble the forge is 
an orifice drill. Most people won't have them, so you can go to your local gas supplier and they can drill the plug for you. This is a number 68 orifice, which gives you just the right gas pressure to get the furnace hot enough. I've drilled a hole in the pipe and threaded it with a tapered gas tap. Again, this can be bought at, uh, at a hardware store or you can have your gas supplier tap the hole for you once you've drilled it. This is the only specialty tools that's necessary to construct this forge. Uh, orifice drill for the tiny orifice hole in the brass plug and the tap which is tapered to thread the orifice into the pipe. The working temperature of the forge is around 1800 degrees. At that point the brick is going to be glowing bright orange. It takes 15 to 20 minutes for the furnace to get up to heat so that you are working your steel at 1800 to 2300 degrees. That is working temperature for mild steel or low carbon steel. It takes a while for the gas pressure to build up. Put a piece of paper in there and light it and go have a cup of tea and you'll be fine. Once the furnace is hot, if you need to take a break, you can just turn off your gas valve and when you're ready to come back, just put another piece of paper in and the brick should be hot enough to reignite and just turn your gas on and you're ready to go again.